Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing good and well. If you're brand new here, my name is Nikki and today we are going to be taking a look at my seventh installment of my series Colors by Numbers. If you guys aren't familiar with this series, it's where I'm going in rainbow order, just talking about all the colors and different aspects of them. And today we have landed on some Shifty Indigo polishes. So I chose Shifty Indigos because Indigo is a mix between blue and purple commonly known as blurple now i guess but i do want to stick with indigo for the sake of the rainbow name originally this lineup was only going to be about six but i decided to add a seventh one on because i actually did have all these polishes picked out for this series a long time ago but sometimes i just added some or changed a few or you know just got some from polish pickup that were like yes it was this would fit this lineup very well unfortunately not all of these are available but the ones that are i will link for all you guys down in the description box below if you are interested now to me there's nothing better than blue and purple together in a polish blue and purple happens to be my two favorite colors to wear on my nails so what a perfect lineup this is in my opinion a few of them do look a little similar but i promise you all of them have different nuances in them that do not make any of them dupe so without further ado let's just get into it the first one i have for you is by atomic polish this did come out in ppu rewind for last year so i'm not sure when it originally came out and this actually came out a bit late in the spoiler thread i saw this at the last minute and i was like yes i need that but this is a perfect shifty duochrome indigo polish one of the best formulas i've ever worked with the blue definitely does come out more in this polish than the purple but the flip is undeniable it's very strong very vibrant and makes this one of the most perfect halloween-esque paul or winter polishes to wear actually this could even fit for summer actually because i did see a lot of summer polishes come out that were um a lot of indigo flips so I really really do enjoy this one and I was happy that I could pick it up. So that was Just One More Chapter by Atomic Polish. This next polish is similar to Atomic Polishes but I had to pick it up because this brand is no longer with this. This is Pursuit of Happiness by Enchanted Polish. This one has more of a blackened base in it but there's still a strong shift of blue and purple. Um, I will say that the purple definitely does come out more in this one. It's very deep and saturated. The flip in this is undeniably noticeable. This definitely does remind me of marbles on my nails, kind of rolling on the ground. They have that like glassy, like watery shift. Yes, bingo, this is up that alley i actually got this because of a nail another uh nail youtuber here that doesn't post too many videos and i did want to pick up the atomic polish because this brand like i said is no longer with us so i knew when i used all this what used up this one i will have a similar one but i'm happy that um they're close enough to <laughs> you know be happy when this one runs out so i have a backup but they're not dupes so i was afraid of that and i'm happy that uh they're not, but they're kind of the same, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that was Pursuit of Happiness by Enchanted Polish. Third in the lineup is H&M's No Shrinking Violet, and that is a name for a shy person. I found that out playing this word scrabble game. <laughs> Interesting. And this one is beautiful. Uh, it is similar to the shifts of the first two, but the particles in here are larger, so this will look more sparkly and dazzling in the sun, which I think makes it a really really nice transitional shade from summer to fall because of how good it'll look in the sun but how vampy it is for the fall season this is perfect and this is one polish i would take with me um traveling as i said blue and purple favorite mix why not bring your favorites with you it has a bit of a gold shimmer in it too and h&m is just one of those brands that i don't really see talked about but definitely deserves some edition because they're so inexpensive and for a department store um, brand they are of great quality in my opinion so that was H&M's No Shrinking Violet one of my absolute favorites in this lineup is by Fair Maiden. and this is La Dame de Fur and that is for the Iron Lady it's named after the Eiffel Tower and if you could see the inspiration for this polish you guys it is they're identical twins this totally embodies embodies that picture so well when i first tried this i couldn't believe that the, I, I felt like i actually had actual stars from space on my nails it's gorgeous this is just one of those polishes where reflective glitters really stands out and makes you want more of them it also has an addition of a gold 
and pink flip in there the pink definitely does come up more as you can see this is more of a purple base but there is enough blue in there to make it an indigo in my opinion this is actually going to go um in the next installment of this series but i definitely want to choose it for this one because i think it just matches it so so good if you guys can find this in d stash do yourself a favor and pick it up if i find a backup i will definitely pick it up so pretty definitely one of my favorite favorite polishes in my collection it's undeniably gorgeous and the formula is so good so that was fair maidens la dame de fur next up is the one that i added to this lineup this is great lakes lacquers did you like the song this did come out in december last december's polish pickup for maker's choice and what a choice this was oh, flaky bombs are just one of my favorite finishes to wear and this has that perfect perfect purple flip with that beautiful blue base this is definitely the color indigo in a bottle with just an ex extra more added in love it this is definitely compared to wildfire lacquer stolen flames if you have that one you probably won't need this one but i mean they're both ppu polishes if you run out Maybe you'll want the other one, you know. I haven't actually had a chance to get this on my nails in its entirety just yet, but this is definitely coming with me into the fall season. I think it's just perfect and one of my favorite Shifty Indigo polishes in my collection. If you want to call it purple, I'm not going to stop you, but I definitely do <laughs> call them more Indigo. So that was Did You Like the Song by Great Lakes Lacquer. The last two are both mainstreams and the first one is China Glaze's Fancy Pants. This one did originally come out in their spring 2013 collection and I was actually really confused. I was like, oh, this looks more like a fall polish. But I mean, this reminds me of a beautiful um, spring garden with a lot of violet -y and blue flowers. So I, I saw what they were going with this one. Uh, the theme was a garden, I believe. So it's actually quite perfect. The base in itself, I would say, is an indigo base. And there is a bit of that pink shimmer that does come out quite well on the nails, just like the Fair Maiden, except this one is just the non-flaky version. This one is one of my favorites from China Glaze, and it is a bit tricky to find, but I did manage to find a link for you guys. This is one of those polishes that makes my nail beds look nice and big with that shimmer. My nail beds are quite small. I've mentioned this before, so I really like them, like it when they look prominent and just you know very saturated like saturated colors on my nails and this one is definitely a saturated beauty along with that pink shimmer so that was fancy pants and the very last one in this lineup is finger paints shift your focus now this one is definitely has a, a dusty uh purple base but the blue shimmer in there is what's making this a shift just like the china glaze it's outstanding has a bit of a gold flip in there like the H&M but it this one is it's not as prominent on your nails maybe in the Sun I don't remember wearing this too much in the Sun because last time I wore this was in the winter but I do think it is a perfect fall color too and a great transition color finger paints I don't have a lot of but I do see them at Sally's Beauty from time to time they do have a lot of great colors mostly creams uh, that I already have colors for but when it comes to like especially finishes like this one it's giving me indie vibes I absolutely love it and this is just the great cap off to my shifty indigo beauties for this lineup I really enjoy this one a lot uh, I think I have to get it on my nails quite soon. So that was Shift Your Focus. Also love the name. All right, guys, that was it for this installment. Let me know what you thought of these polishes and if you're trying to acquire any. Like I said, I'll say which ones are available in these stashes possibly and, you know, ones that are available online. Next, we will be doing Violet and then we've reached the end of the rainbow and then I'll be adding just a bit of neutrals in at the end as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you reached the end, I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.